And welcome to Don't Ever Bank Your Field in Cracksum Skull, Florida, where the arena is filled with Jewish retirees, partiers who think it's spring break, and face-eating zombies. It's the perfect crowd for the perfect game, Mazel Tov! Get ready for some football. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The San Francisco 49 Nightmares battle, the Cracksum Skull Jugulars. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. everyone grim blitzrow here along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones brickhead mulligan hey there was a reason for that i had to quit taking steroids my nutsack was shrinking and i sprouted this mini me on my shoulder bricks jr freak me out you're a pussy <laughs> Pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And that'll bring up six. Out of the quarterback's tight spot. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, they ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? First and ten. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps on some. And the whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. <laughs> and it's first and ten. First and ten. Oh, the unstoppable 
force meets the explodable object. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pad, Rim. You're right. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which was and then to first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. The defender says, it's mine, and he comes away with the pick. Oh, he's got popped big time. Oh, my God. His head was gonna pop off like a big zit. And it's first and ten. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. He can go all the way. Oh man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with the. Uh... down in less than a yard. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And that'll be second and eight to go. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he? Bricks wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. No, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And that's another turn. Oh, what a brutal hit. And it's.
Giants, first and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. Third and four. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And another interception. This quarterback. Boom! And it's first and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Nobody can touch him with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Boom to the moon! Another loser, but bingo, bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck! First and ten. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. 
Second down and two. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that's why he's so popular with the other kids. The one's not on his... Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Yeah, boo, baby. Finish him. The greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> First and eight to go. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and six. Right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, with a brutal hit! First and ten. You know, this dirty against the Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Huh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And it's first and ten. Huh? First down! Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it plays a defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. <laughs> and here comes
comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Second down and two. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Rip. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I'm going to see if he cries and pisses himself first. Third down and five. First down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. The offense lost their last running back on the previous play. Next time the offense comes out on the field, they will have no running plays. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. Nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Second down and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Third down and ten. Connect on that play. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he put a little too much on that ball. This will be a touchback. And it's first and ten. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. down and six that's a four-yard game 
The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. He might consider running the ball more. Uh, why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pigskin? Bacon! I'm hungry for bacon! He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get it. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm gonna go for a strip tease show. Where we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. I don't know if he even had a target on that throw. <laughs> and the cracks and skull jugulars decimate the opposition today and win by forfeit. The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feeder team should get a participation award because well, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard to shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the scotch, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhar Corporation. They get it right every other...